Hey guys, Buildzoid here, and today we're going to be looking, taking a look at something that has a greater chance of breaking my foot than I have any hope of ever breaking it. This is Der Bauer's Raptor 4 LN2 Paw, and this thing is his latest and greatest creation for, you know, maxing out any GPU you could ever want on LN2. It is extremely heavy. It's made of copper and aluminum. It is CNC'd from five different sides, and it's also extremely expensive. But at least unlike everything else I have that's extremely expensive, well, I probably won't break it, because it is just a chunk of copper. So let's take a, you know, just a little pre you know early look at some of these things because i do plan to do a more detailed video with Durbauer on the video himself uh to talk about this part and you know some of the design that went into it and all of the uh you know uh science behind it so uh first things first let's just take a look down inside the pot you can clearly see that's you know, that, that design, I think, is similar to the old Raptor 3. I've never seen a Raptor 3. Well, actually, I've seen a Raptor 3 a, a few times, and I do believe it looked something similar to this. This has a few tweaks from back in the Raptor 3, from the old Raptor 3 design. First of all, it's also CNC'd from this side. I think they were both CNC'd from the bottom, and it's also CNC'd from this side. All these extra CNC angles are done because they ensure, you know, they get you more surface area, but they also make it possible to keep a lot more of the pot's mass. And with LN2 pots, you want two things. You want a lot of mass, and you want a lot of surface area. Mass gives you, you know, mass makes the pot predictable as far as temperatures go, because it takes a lot of heat to change the pot's temperature. You want a lot of surface area because a lot of surface area means that when you pour LN2 into it, the LN2 really, really quickly dissipates any heat. So to achieve both of those, this is CNC'd from four sides just to get the internal structure. This side is also CNC'd to get all the mounting equipment, you know, to get the mounting system in place. And yeah. So, speaking of the mounting system, this thing is the first pot I've ever seen to feature a base extender. So, it's basically this small little block of copper, also uh, coated in nickel. Well, also nickel plated. I'm not sure what the nickel plating process for this is. I don't think it was electro... I, think, I don't think it was electrolysis. Which I think is what's normally used. It might be chemical coating, or you know, we'll ask Der Bauer one, one, on the on the more detailed video about this thing. So uh, it has a little hole for your thermocouple, and it basically installs on top of the base of the pot, or well, it just extends the base of the pot. It has four Torx screws. Those screw in, and obviously it extends the base of the pot. Why would you want to use this? Well, it gives you better insulation, because you can get Armaflex all the way to basically here, which means you have much less, you know, water buildup directly on the GPU's PCB. It also means it's possible to use all kinds of, you know, aluminum heat sinks and stuff that might be uh, extending the height of the PCB significantly. So this doesn't actually conflict it with anything that's uh, tall on the PCB, so it gives you a lot more com compatibility. Actually, with this installed, for example, I can mount this to an RX 480 without having to take off the aluminum front plate of the card, which significantly improves the PCB's rigidity, which is really important when you're dangling a two kilogram chunk of copper off the side of it. So, yeah, for the actual mounting gear, you also get a few options. Actually, wait, one thing I wanted to do note about this. Uh, this will actually, so this is great because it gives you better mounting compatibility. It also has some downsides. It will lower your thermal performance because obviously uh, you have an extra layer of thermal paste and then an extra layer of copper before you actually get your final layer of thermal paste and your GPU core. So this does... Um, lower your thermal performance because it'll take a longer amount of time for heat to move from the gpu core to the ln2 
but it also makes you know mounting much easier so for gpus that don't need the absolute best cooling this is a really really great option and even if you do need really great cooling you might be insane and decide to run it anyway because it's just easier so yeah it's nice to always have options uh for mounting you also get uh several options so first of all uh you get these uh mounting systems so those just you know slot into the heatsink like that well ln2 pot like that and you have hexagonal screws which this won't focus on and those just go in there and you basically get a sliding mount so basically any gpu which has any hole spacing that this sliding scale can reach you can mount which is great you can't however be using the extension with these because these don't offer enough structural rigidity um, to use this so if you want to use this extension you have to use the other mounting equipment and these really long screws so these really long screws uh thread through these these are actually threaded so you can't just slide them back and forth you have to you know screw them in and those just thread on so let me get that on boom and then you can mount that like that and then it'll actually go through your pcb and this mounting gear is included because it obviously offers much much better structural rigidity uh to the mounting because uh, since it can't slide it also doesn't wobble at all basically so that's really really nice uh you also get a short screw like that which again doesn't reach past this and these exist for when you want the extra structural mounting rigidity but you don't want to use this so yeah uh, all of these uh, you know all these plates are attached to the pot with two screws these you get an allen key for them those just go right in and there you know you're set two of them and obviously four points so yeah, you get a lot of different mounting gear options. Uh, you also get this plate, which is coated in, I think, I actually have no idea what, but it's some kind of non-conductive material. The plate is steel, as far as I'm aware. And, you know, this is there to reinforce you at the back of your card. Um, but you can obviously use GPU back plates or, you know, front plates or whatever you have available, especially front plates are viable with this thing. So even if you don't have a GPU backplate or you have capacitors hanging off of the back of your card, um, with this spacer, you can use things on the front of your car, you know, reinforcement on the front of your card. So that's really nice. Uh, finally, uh, all of the mounting gear is finalized with these here thumb nuts. You get five of them. So you have one spare in case you lose it. Uh, and that's obviously really, really nice. All of this is packaged in the typical Durbauer tube with foam. So, you know, uh, basically the foam goes like you have your pot. The foam goes over it. This is not enough to actually insulate it since the walls are super thin. So this is not actually valid insulation for LN2. You'll have to insulate it with something else. So that kind of sucks because, you know, you can't transport this pot very easily while it's insulated and then basically that just inserts into the cylinder and there you have a very nice and tidy package these come in you know you get these little boxes for all of your mounting gear and you can just throw that in and close it with this top cylinder for anybody who's bought a different Derbauer pot this should be you know standard knowledge this is how he packages everything as far as I'm aware so yeah uh let's get the pot back out so we can stare all at its glorious german engineering and machining beauty and um yeah expect to see this in plenty of live streams because this will be my good well it is my only real ln2 pot for graphics cards I know I have the tape monstrosity on the 4870 and I want to make more tape monstrosities and glue monstrosities and all that, but this is a real actual proper pot. This is what I will use if I want a high score and I'm not just trying to dick around with as little money as humanly possible. So yeah, uh, 
And this thing is, you know, it doesn't get better than this. This is the latest and, and greatest, basically. So, yeah, do expect to see this a lot. Hopefully it'll get me some really, really good scores. And, yeah, I'm excited to use it. The only problem is I don't have any LN2. However, it is also completely waterproof, as far as I'm aware. So it should be possible to use it with dry ice. Uh, if you want any clarification on anything, basically, about this pot, you can drop a question down in the comments below this video. And when I go to make that video with Der Bauer, uh, in, you know, with in cooperation with him, uh, I'll just, you know, give him all of your questions as well as all of my questions and eliminate whatever overlaps so that we can learn more about this beautiful chunk of copper and aluminum. Yeah, the blocks, all the black stuff is aluminum. And yeah, so this is basically a welcome to my newest piece of computer hardware destroying equipment. And that's it for this video. Uh, like, share, subscribe, uh, and I will see you... Well, I don't know when I'll see you, because I'm currently dealing with some issues with some other really expensive equipment that I've been complaining about for basically several months now. Um, so I think everybody knows what I'm talking about here. And basically the issue with that at this point is that... Uh, yeah, it doesn't boot, and until then, I'm not sure what to do about that. But, you know, on Saturday, certainly, I will have the video, of, you know, the more detailed video about this. Unfortunately, there might not be a live stream this Saturday, or next Saturday, or I don't know when the next live stream will be, because everything is broken. Uh, hopefully, I'll manage to figure out how to fix everything by then. So, yeah, again, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you whenever I can. Uh... Right, that finishes the video. Need to press the stop button. Okay, uh, goodbye. <laughs>